It's a relatively cushy job that seems to pay pretty well, but that doesn't mean being a movie star isn't hard work. Multi-million dollar productions rely on an actor's ability to, you know, act. So there's a lot of pressure for them to do a good job, and not everyone is great under pressure. An actor will occasionally, for whatever reason, forget their lines, and they all flub in different ways. They also deal with the embarrassment differently, and oftentimes hilariously. Here are some famous actors who were caught messing up their dialogue. Lawrence Fishburne. Bathroom humor is the great human equalizer, be it the young and the old, the rich and the poor, or the smart and the dumb. Both Oscar-nominated and non-Oscar-nominated actor alike can get behind a good butt reference, which is precisely what happened on the set of the 2016 science fiction film Passengers. In a very wordy scene, Lawrence Fishburne, who plays the spaceship's chief deck officer, briefs supposed-to-be hibernating passengers Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence on the craft's movements. He ends up giving us a lesson in space anatomy instead. Jupiter. Uranus, you name it. And then along came. <laughs> Bradley Cooper. Messing up lines will usually cause an actor to break character, laugh, lightly curse, get back to their mark, and give it another try. But some actors are just too cool for that. Um. Maybe not that cool. But hangover actor Bradley Cooper can give us a master course on what to do when you flub your lines during a rooftop monologue. What happens here tonight may as well never happen, never happened, never happened. Just fake it till you make it, even if that means that you have to speak in gibberish. Christina Applegate. In Will Ferrell and Adam McKay's Anchorman, a silly spoof of a horrendously sexist 70s workplace, Christina Applegate plays the glass ceiling shattering news anchor, Veronica Corningstone. She faces open hostility from other members of the Channel 4 news team, including sports guy Champ Kind, played by David Koechner, and reporter Brian Fantana, played by Paul Rudd. Inside source tells me that the FBI has been called in to aid in this ongoing investigation. <laughs> Who am I? It would be hard for anyone to act under those circumstances. Paul Rudd. The comedy films of Judd Apatow maintain an almost impossible balance between strong, earnest characters and over-the-top ridiculousness. The 40-year-old virgin has its serious and heartfelt moments, but it's during one of these that Paul Rudd slips up while pronouncing the name of a famous painter. If you love Trish, you, you can't do this. But you gotta finish waxing your chest because you look like Edvard Munch's The Scream. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Ben Stiller. It seems like pretty much every romantic comedy ever made has some variation of the don't get on that plane speech. And the 2004 Ben Stiller, Jennifer Aniston film Along Came Polly is no exception. When it comes time for Stiller to unveil his true feelings, he can't quite remember the specifics of this particular romantic monologue. You go off to Tanzania or Cincinnati or wherever you're going, you... I guarantee you. Timothy Dalton. You gotta be smooth in order to play James Bond. And Timothy Dalton succeeded at being the ultra cool super spy for two movies back in the late 1980s. Years later, he took on the role of the villain in the Simon Pegg cop spoof Hot Fuzz, betraying his 007 image of calm and cool. The store's security footage will lose a mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, that's all mildly amusing. What happened next was golden. Still rolling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 that's on the TV. <laughs> Mila Kunis. In Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Jason Siegel plays Peter Bretta, who is, as you could probably guess, trying to forget his old girlfriend, Sarah Marshall. You know what? She's a plain Jane, and hey. she should go back to where she came from. Hey. That is the mother of my. Oh, sorry. Peter Bretta retreats to a resort where he gets over Sarah with the help of a resort staffer played by Mila Kunis. Initially, Kunis' character has to call him Mr. Bretta, but she just can't seem to get it right. Hello, Mr. Brenner. Mr. Brayton. Bretter! I said Bretter! You said Bretter. You said Bretter. 
Rob Riggle. In the real world, it's pretty absurd for one grown man to stare down another grown man and tell him that he's going to hurt him. It's doubly absurd to have to do this with a comedy legend like Will Ferrell. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna drive it into your temple. <laughs> Prepare yourself for a fight, a fight that's coming. I, I don't want that. <laughs> Unlike Will Ferrell, we definitely want more. Harrison Ford. The explosion of the first Death Star is supposed to be a moment of triumph for Han Solo and the Rebel forces, followed by celebration and exaltations. All that celebrating is supposed to be followed by some lines, but Harrison Ford totally blanks on what those lines are supposed to be. <laughs> you! The... The... Eating your mic is definitely one way to go rogue. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.